Hey all, Matt here from Style Factory, the go-to site for website building tips. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to blog with the latest version of Squarespace. I'll start by walking you through the steps needed to start blogging on Squarespace, and then I'll give you some bonus tips on how to make sure that what you're blogging about actually generates traffic. Before I begin, there's a couple of things to note. If you haven't got a Squarespace site yet, don't worry, you can set one up quickly and easily using the link in the video description. You'll also find a code there that will give you a nice discount for your site. And to get all our Squarespace tips in future, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the notifications bell. Alright, let's dive in. To get started with blogging on Squarespace, you need to go to your dashboard and click Pages. You can then create a new blog by clicking the plus icon. Then choose Blog from the Collection section. At this point, you'll see a few different blog page layouts that you can choose from. A thing to note here is that a blog page layout is what your visitors see when they visit the blog section of your site. Your choice here doesn't affect the individual posts themselves. In terms of which layout works best, it boils down to whether you want to encourage people to read your latest content or to give them the opportunity to dip into a variety of different posts. If you want to encourage people to read your very latest post, then picking a layout featuring a big image and a large excerpt works best. For a more pick and mix approach, choose a layout that involves a lot of thumbnails and short excerpts. Once you've picked your layout, you'll be prompted to name your blog. In most cases, you'll probably just want to call it blog. But you can be more adventurous here if you like. When you've named your blog, you'll be taken straight to it. Beside your blog name, you'll see that there's a cog icon and a plus icon. The cog icon lets you access your blog's settings. The plus icon lets you add new posts to your blog. When it comes to your blog settings, most of these are fairly self-explanatory, but there are some advanced features here too, including some options for using your blog feeds to power podcasting. I'm not going to dwell on these features here, but if you check out the video description, you'll find links to some useful resources about them. Now, as you can see, your new Squarespace blog comes with a few dummy posts included. I generally just delete these and create brand new posts, but you can, if you like, edit them and use them as the basis of new posts. To delete a dummy post, you just hover over its title, click the three dots that appear, and then click Delete. To start a new blog post, you simply click the plus icon. This immediately creates a new post for you. After that, it's a case of populating your blog post. The first thing you'll need to do is enter a post title, followed by your main content. To add things like images, videos or quotes, you need to click the plus icon underneath a piece of text. This creates a new block that you can then drag and drop around your post. When you finish creating your content, it might be tempting to click the Done button. However, it's usually a better idea to edit a few key post settings first. To do this, you click the post title at the very top of the page. This takes you to a Blog Post Settings section. There are quite a lot of things you can specify or change here. First up, we have some content options. The first thing you can do here is add a featured image for the post. This will show up on your site anywhere your post is featured, for example on your main blog page or in post summaries. It will also appear any time that the post is shared on social media. You can also add an excerpt here. Again, this will be shown elsewhere on your Squarespace site, in blog summaries and so on, and when your post is shared on social media. Moving down, we come to the post URL. Use this field to create a URL that reflects the content of the post and the keywords you are targeting for search results. Separate your keywords with hyphens and keep the URL short and descriptive. Next, you can specify a post author. By default, this will be the site owner, but if you've added additional contributors to your Squarespace site, you can select one of these here. If you want to reference an external source on your blog, you can do this here too. I'm not going to go into detail on this option here, but if you check the video description, you'll find a link to more information on this feature. Moving down to the option section, the key thing you can do here is change the status of your post from draft to published. I'm going to leave this post as a draft for now. 
You can also use this section to add tags and categories to your post, and decide whether or not you'd like people to be able to add comments to it. In the SEO section, you'll be able to add a post title and meta description for display in search results. The social image section lets you add a special image that will be displayed when the post is shared on social media. This is optional, and if you don't add anything here, your featured image will be shown instead. The share section lets you email your post to a mailing list or push it to social media. Once you're happy with all your content and your settings, you can put your post live. To do this, you click the Done button. Doing so gives you a few choices about how to publish your content. The Save option saves a draft of your post but doesn't publish it. The Publish option lets you put it live immediately. The Schedule option lets you set a future publication date. And the Discard option, as you might expect, lets you discard any changes you've made to the post. I'm going to choose the Publish option. And as soon as I do that, I get a notification that my post is live and I'm given the opportunity to share it on social media or via email. If at any stage I want to edit my post, it's just a case of going back to my list of posts, selecting it, and clicking the Edit button at the top left corner of the post. OK, so that's the basics of blogging with Squarespace. But it's one thing to create a blog, it's quite another to attract readers to it. So, in just a moment, I'm going to share a couple of resources that will help you generate traffic for your new blog. Before I do that, however, I'd like to invite you to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and click the notifications bell. This helps us out and gives you easy access to a host of web design, e-commerce, and digital marketing resources. All right then, let's move on to our bonus resources for blogging more effectively with Squarespace. To make sure people actually visit your blog, it's really important to find out what people want to read on it. This involves a process called keyword research, and we've got a great video on how to do this with one of the most popular keyword research tools available, SEMrush. You'll find a link to this in the top right-hand corner of the screen, and it's also in the video description below. The next resource I'd like to share is a video that highlights 10 key ways that you can increase the audience for your blog. It covers everything from finding the right writer, to SEO, to email marketing, and is a must-watch for any new Squarespace bloggers. Check out the link in the top right-hand corner of the screen to watch this now, or check out the link in the video description. And that's it! Our guide to blogging on Squarespace. Good luck creating your own blog! If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments section. We read them all, and we'll do our best to help.